Hello everyone, today I will be doing a tutorial on my white borders that I usually use in my edits on my second account. Um, I've had a lot of people request them in my DMs, so I finally now decided to do a tutorial. It's really quick, it will only take like, I don't know, maybe three minutes, even less, if you like, because you can just copy and paste this, like a preset, so you know. Um, so, oh wait, let's pretend this picture is an edit, okay? Let me just rename this, edit just 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 ignore how this is a picture okay don't mind it go to layer go to new go to shape layer you want to add this then make sure you selected this so it's highlighted um after that you want to go to this thing here you gotta like hold it till it shows and if you want like sharp edges for your borders you use rectangle tool if you want the rounded ones you use the rounded rectangle tool so I prefer these ones because they look better. So I'm gonna take this. And uh, make sure this is highlighted. You have to like double click on this. And you see how this like doesn't show anything yet. You just have to wait, okay? So if your one shows this, it's easily fixable. You don't have to be scared, whatever. You did nothing wrong. This is what it usually looks like before you change anything. Um then click on fill. Don't click on the color, fill. And click on none. So you don't have the fill. Um then go to stroke and make sure it's enabled because it could be wait. It could be like this, you know, but you can enable it. Just enable it. Um, and then you want to put this to two or whatever one you want. Like if you want thicker borders, you have to put this, I don't know, like three, four, whatever. Um, if you want thinner ones, just put it on one. But I don't prefer that because it looks ugly. So like, you know, yeah. Then for the scale, you got to put this to 95. I usually do 95 because I think it's the perfect number because it looks amazing and goaded and whatever it looks like. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, where was I, where was I, where was I, oh, yeah, we don't want to keep them, like, white like that, right, so you gotta, like, select this, right click, go to blending mode, and go to overlay, and you can either leave it like this, or if you want, like, horizontal ones, or vertical ones, whatever you want, you can just disable this, and drag this for horizontal lines, uh, or, you can disable this and drag this for vertical lines. I prefer the vertical lines because I just think it looks better and things like that, you know? So, yeah. Or you can just keep it like this. It's up to you. Freedom. We live in a democracy. Well, I would hope that you do. But, like, you know, um, yeah. Any, any, anyway, anyway. Um, let me go. Oh, wait, I'm done. Guys, I'm done. Oh, the tutorial is finished now. That's it. Like, you're done. Um, just make sure if you have, like, uh, fades that this is under your fade layers because otherwise it's gonna be fucked up and it's gonna look ugly and, yeah. So, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy watching my tutorial. And I hope you'll comment a request so I have more things to do because the last time I posted it was, like, months ago. So, you know, gotta, gotta be active. Anyway, guys, bye-bye. Have an amazing day, amazing night, amazing afternoon, amazing morning. Uh, whatever your time zone is right now, just just go and have an amazing, great, yummy, perfect day. Bye-bye.